We have three new rangefinders for 2024, the rail mounted range finding module, the lightweight Helix 1500, which has a more traditional form factor. And then we get to this. This is the Titan 3K, and it's built entirely around the needs of long range shooters. When developing our new handheld rangefinders, the last thing we wanted to do was to make Me Too products. There's plenty of models out there that do what rangefinders are designed to do, and that is to find the range. <laughs> but we took the concept to another level by integrating our ballistic chip inside of each unit, allowing for not only a Bluetooth connection with the Element Ballistics app and our hybrid digital scope, the Hopper 7, but also allowing for all ballistic calculations to be done inside the unit completely independently of external devices. We also put a lot of effort and energy into the uh, user interface with beautiful dual color T-OLED displays in both of these units where your data can be projected. But although a lot of this technology is cutting edge, we found that with the smaller Helix 1500, we were restricted in the way that we had to work within the framework of a compact lightweight chassis and try to fit everything in here. It's not quite the same with the Titan 3K. We had a lot more freedom to think outside the box and add some features that are, let's say, very much catered and tailored to the long range shooting community. The first thing you'll notice is that this is a horizontal configuration instead of vertical. We did this for a number of reasons. Firstly, it created more space for a bigger uh, viewfinding optical system. This is a 7x26 as opposed to the 6x22 in Helix 1500. It's got a much bigger laser lens, which helps it to perform better at longer ranges. And we've got space for a, a large 18650 battery that runs the entire length of this unit. If you're not familiar with 18650, these are very high capacity rechargeable batteries that you can find anywhere nowadays. They're used in most flashlights, they're used in e-cigarettes, and you can find a variety of external chargers and spares on Amazon or anywhere. The reason we chose 18650 is firstly for the increased capacity. If you're at the range for a couple days in very cold weather, your batteries are not gonna perform anywhere near as well as they would in, let's say, warm weather, and repeatedly ranging targets at extreme distances can be quite energy intensive. This essentially just has a bigger tank. The best part about this, however, is that it's actually USB-C chargeable. So on your way to the range, you can plug it in your car using the cable that we include or even your phone's charger and just top it up. It will go red when it's, when it's charging and the red light will turn green when it's fully charged and you don't have to worry about your battery just randomly dying on you. That's all happened to all of us. You rock up at the range or you go hunting, you forget when you last changed your little CR2 battery and the next thing you know, it dies on you at the worst possible moment. That's not gonna happen with this one. The other thing that the horizontal design allowed us to do is to actually thread the bottom surface to accept a tripod base plate. And this is very convenient because you can essentially leave your tripod arca base plate connected and just clip it onto your tripod whenever you need it but it also improves the ranging capabilities of the rangefinder because it allows you to keep it very still. When we tested the Titan 3K in the Utah backcountry off the tripod, we were able to obtain readings off non-reflective targets like bushes and grass at well over 4,000 yards. So yes, in perfect conditions, this rangefinder is capable of more than the 3,000 yards that we advertise, but as we know, Conditions are not always perfect, so we tend to keep our specs conservative. Pollution, bad weather, movement, all of those things will affect the way that your rangefinder actually performs. So that's the gist of it, but let's run through some of the other features. Externally, we've got a twist out eye cup and a diopter ring just below that. We've got loops on either side for a neck strap or lanyard and we've got a very ergonomic rubberized design where you can either hold it with two hands or if you want to one hand it, uh, the buttons are accessible with both your right hand and your left hand and you can reach them with your fingers pretty easily. 
These buttons can be used to cycle through all the various modes and settings. There are six brightness settings for the display. We've made sure that this will work in very low light conditions and very, very bright conditions. To switch to the brightness settings, you simply press both these buttons at the same time. There are three ranging modes indicated by these icons here. LOS is line of sight. That's just the direct distance to your target. HCD is the horizontal component of the actual distance. This is very useful when referencing your distance to a drop chart and will provide more accurate firing solutions when shooting at steeper angles. Those are the two simple modes. If you want ballistic data displayed, there's Bell C mode, which is ballistic calculator. This displays your firing solution, both elevation and windage simultaneously, and shows the units too. The Titan 3K, like the Helix 1500, also has a number of different targeting modes, and these can be switched between by holding in the mode button for three seconds. First target priority is basically going to give you the reading of the very first object that the laser beam bounces off. So if you've got, let's say, a target stand in the middle of an open field and your beam is, let's say, split between the target stand and a bush or grass behind it, it's going to give you reading of the target stand and not the object behind it. Very useful. Last target priority gives you a range for the last object the laser bounces off. So if you're trying to range a deer that's standing behind some twigs and leaves, this is probably what you want to use. If you switch off both first and last priority mode, you're in normal mode, and this is just going to give you the strongest reading that comes back off the targets that you're ranging. Holding in the range button allows you to scan across a target for a few seconds and will give you a continuous reading. One of the main points about the Titan 3K is the ballistic chip. As with the other rangefinders, the integrated chip allows you to factor in the weather, spin drift, wind drift, uh, your incline angle, all of these different things to give you very, very precise firing solutions. Creating a profile is very easy. This can be done on the Element Ballistics app, which is free. We have an extensive database of commercially available bullets and everything can also be entered manually if required. You can select your unit preferences, MRAD, MOA, inches, centimeters, or click values. And then it's as simple as switching on the rangefinder, connecting to it, and sending the profile over in a matter of seconds. Once your profile is sent over to the rangefinder, it is stored in the memory of the rangefinder. Your phone does not have to be connected for the ballistic calculator to work. When paired with the Hyper 7, the range data gets sent directly to the Hyper 7, and the Hyper 7 immediately makes the correction, displaying the range in the top right of its own display. The ballistic data that's calculated in the Hyper 7 with the Hyper 7's own built-in ballistic calculator then gets sent back to the rangefinder and displayed here. So the shooter and the spotter get the same information all the time and are always on the same page. These two are a match made in heaven. And then lastly, there's the bag. We've really tried to think of everything to make this convenient um, for the type of shooter who's gonna be using this. Um, it's a nice rugged bag, um, weather, weather resistant, nice and padded on the inside. The elasticated system here is quiet if you want to use it when hunting. We've got a, a pocket in the side, so if you want to carry a Kestrel or another anemometer with you, you can slide it in here and store it right there. And then we've got Molly at the back. So if you have a, a backpack with Molly or a range bag and you want to just connect it and carry it around with you, this makes it nice and easy. You don't have to chuck it in the backpack. And that's it, the Titan 3K. Certainly not your conventional rangefinder. If you want to learn more, you can visit our website at element-optics.com or subscribe to our YouTube channel. We do have some very useful tutorials on the Element Ballistics app over on our Hyper 7 series, so I'll link that down below, and we look forward to seeing you next time.